Step into the thrilling world of the U.S. presidential election, where two fierce rivals are locked in an epic battle to claim the seat in the Oval Office. Each player takes a merchandise deck of 14 cards. Both decks are identical apart from the player color. Both players shuffle their merchandise decks. Shuffle the campaign deck and place it face down on the table. Place the controversy tokens into a pile alongside the campaign deck. Reveal the top four cards from the campaign deck, and place them as a line starting from the deck. There are four different types of campaign cards. Player keeps any collected campaign trails in a face-down pile for scoring at the end of the game. Ballots and polls they are worth a varying number of points depending on how many cards you have collected of that type. Controversy if you take a mission card which has a controversy card underneath it, you also take controversy token equal to the number of exclamation marks on the card. Actions give the players access to a special ability. They keep it face up in front of them until they choose to use the effect. How to play. Attempt campaigns the most eloquent player goes first. On your turn, 1. Draw the top card from your merchandise deck. 2. Choose which campaign you want to attempt. Place the card face up alongside this campaign. 3. You may then continue drawing cards, one at a time, secretly looking at them and then placing them face down alongside the same chosen campaign, so that your opponent can see the quantity of cards played, but not their values. Once you have looked at the card, you must play it. You may stop drawing cards at any point. You are usually aiming to achieve a higher total than your opponent, without going over 21. If your cards alongside the campaign total more than 21, you must stop drawing cards. You do not reveal this to your opponent. Once you have chosen to stop placing cards at a campaign, or you have been forced to stop, because you went over 21 or you have run out of cards, you may no longer look at the face-down cards you have placed at the campaign. The next player then takes their turn in exactly the same way, placing one face-up merchandise card, and then placing face-down cards as they wish alongside any one campaign. The campaign does not have to be the one that your opponent has just attempted. A player may not add cards to a campaign that they have already attempted on a previous turn. Each player's merchandise deck contains numbered cards. The card 111 can be played as either a 1 or an 11. If at any point a player has no cards remaining in their personal deck, they take no further turns in the round. This sequence is repeated until both players have played cards to all four campaigns. Start revealing cards with the campaign closest to the draw pile. The starting player for the round reveals their cards and declares their total for the campaign. The next player then does the same with that campaign. If a player has a total over 21, all of their cards are discarded. The player also takes a controversy token. If a player has a total of exactly 21, the player may discard one of their own controversy tokens. Then the player with the highest total collects the campaign card. Players take back all of their merchandise cards and shuffle to reform their merchandise deck. Reveal four new campaign cards from the deck, and a new round begins. The game ends in one of two ways. 1. If one player has nine controversy tokens or more at any time, they lose the game immediately. 2. If six full rounds are completed. Victory points are counted as follows. Count up the victory points from collected campaign trail, action, and ballot slash forecast cards. Controversy tokens are worth one victory point each. The player with the most victory points wins the game.